to Diary Dioramas from Dimes Like Toys. And in this video, we're showing you all these cool statues coming up in our unboxing videos. Fine Tip Creative Studio. Here is Invader Zim. Really nice details all over the statue looking down this thing. You can see the little black outlines around his eyes, his teeth, his tongue, to give it that really cool Nickelodeon cartoon vibe. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. I like the sculpt on that. Retails for 50 bucks. The boxes are always fun with these gallery dioramas. My turn, I'm gonna go with probably the one I'm most excited about. Talking about for the bang, I see. Which oh, is yeah. Venom Pool. Yeah, looking through the window, you can see it's loaded with details. You got a preview of the figure there, which looks really cool. It looks like he just broke out of something. You can see he's got chains on. Nice big base on this. This is actually considered one of their deluxe figures, which is bigger, more elaborate, and more expensive. I'm a big fan of these gallery dioramas because it's a good size statue. They're always PVC, which yeah. is nice. They're not super heavy. They're not easily broken either. Right. If this falls off the table, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I think this one comes in at about 120, 125 bucks. So if you love collectibles, stick around. This is coming up. I think we're gonna do this one first. Ooh. What do you got coming up? Here is the Sonic the Hedgehog Gallery Diorama. We have the tail, so it's really cool we get the Sonic now. And this one's cool because it has the emerald. He's like grabbing the ring and he's on like the starter island. Yeah, Sonic right out of the video game. You can see he's got the green emerald in his hand reaching for the gold ring. Very cool. This will be perfect to set with, yeah. the, uh, with the tail statue. Next up, probably the biggest one we got. Just came out. The Immortal, Immortal Hulk. Hulk. Another one of their deluxe gallery dioramas. This one retails for 125 bucks. Looking at this box, this is massive. I wanna say it's probably a good 14 inches tall. You got three windows on the box. You can see how swole he is. He's got that Frankenstein head, <laughs> bulging muscles, crazy Hulk. He has he's a like, like toupee hair too. He <laughs> looks like he's about to rip out of the box. This piece looks so cool. You really got the nice. bio on the back. Based on his appearance in the comics, the Immortal Hulk looks so good. Can't wait to crack this one open. Next step. Here we have oh, the yeah. Avengers Endgame Rocket. So this one's the smallest one of all the statues we have here today. It's but small, really cool. but he looks really, really good. You can see looking through that window. He's got a really big base. It's super tall. Yeah, that's the only reason why he gives him height. If it wasn't for that base, it would just be like a little five, no, four inch figure. Based on his appearance in Avengers Endgame, I think this one's maybe like 40, 50 bucks. We just picked up the Star-Lord gallery statue, so this is gonna be great to go along with it. Yeah. That'll be coming up in our unboxing as well. Next up, I'm gonna go with another one I'm super excited about. Why do you have all the cool ones? I got all the Marvel ones. <laughs> WandaVision. The show was so good. Loved it. Super excited to have this piece in our collection. You can see her there through the front of the box, kind of levitating. You had this really cool like red spikes and like power emerging from behind her. Really giving her that super villain vibe you get from Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. And this is from WandaVision, I believe towards the end where she like really accepts the Crimson Witch and she's like all powerful so and she's cool. battling Hagatha. This one retails for $60. Outstanding price for a figure that looks this good. We also have the Vision up here. Ooh. So that'll be nice to pair them together. Yeah, both of them in like, Here's they're most powerful. Peek at some of the gallery dioramas. Really cool pieces, packed with details in the sculpt and the paint. Super excited to have this WandaVision. It's gonna be awesome. Looking through the window on this, the details in that portrait look fantastic. It's got some transparent pieces. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, can't wait. Next up. Okay, I'm gonna do this one because the last two go together. But here we have another one of my favorites, especially because it's Nightmare Before Christmas. But here we have Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. Gallery diorama of Jack Skellington, very cool. This is also really cool because it's from one of my favorite parts of the movie, which is, I believe, Jack's Lament, where he's like in the graveyard and he's singing, and he's like going through the ups and downs of emotion, like he's sad, or he's like, but I am Jack, and he's like, <laughs> all and, crazy. And you can see on this is one of the scenes where he's standing on one of the tombstones. He's got his long skinny arms. You can see his legs are all sprawled out. You got an image of the statue as well as a bio about the piece. We're huge Nightmare Before Christmas fans. So adding this to the collection is gonna be great. Another piece I'm super excited about. This movie was so good. Oh yeah, I loved it. We got the Doctor Strange gallery diorama from Multiverse of Madness. You got the three windows on this box. You can see the finger from all angles. Loaded with details, really nice base on this diorama. 
You got the portal that goes all the way around him. On the back, you got an image of this really cool piece where you can see he's doing the portal thing and there's like smoke coming around from it, like summoning magic. Retail on this Doctor Strange Gallery Diorama is $49.99. The paint looks pretty good. You got a lot of details in this costume on this piece. This is gonna be a great piece as well. The newer Gallery Dioramas are next level. And again, they're coming in at a really affordable price point. Some of them are going for like 60 bucks. A lot of them we find on sale on Amazon for like sometimes 40, 50 bucks. Uh -huh. Okay, so second to last up, setting us up for the cool last one, we have Katara from Avatar, the last airbender. We already have the Zuko yeah. Gallery Diorama. Looking through the window on this, you can see you got all this transparent material for the water. You can see she's water bending. It's coming around her hands. Yeah, Diamonds Like Toys does like a perfect job with such like cool translucent pieces, especially with coloring and like atmosphere with them. You got her hair flying back. You can see the dynamic pose. Not only in the figure, the base has a bunch of movement as well. We got the Zuko. We got the Katara. And all now we, we have. Is Okay. This one's really cool too. Like I said with the guitar, we really captured the elements so well. How they have the, like the fire, the wind, and the water. Yeah, similar to the guitar, you got a really cool base. It's got the transparent pieces in there. As you can see, he's bending the air element. You got some movement in him as well. You can see it. he's got his staff at the ready. This is really cool. So now we have all three pieces in the set. And then last one up. Did you say the best for last? I said one of the best Ooh. and the smallest. You know I'm a big Wolverine fan. Oh yeah. And here we got Wolverine Weapon X, half naked, standing in the snow. He's got all these wires and cables coming out of him. He's got his claws at the ready. This is the front of the part where he's escaping the laboratory where they're like experimenting on him and working on him. We got the Premier Collection Logan back there, which is another really cool piece. Yeah. This will go perfect side by side with that one. So that's the last in this haul. This is just some of the new stuff we got coming up in our unboxing videos. Let us know what you're most excited about. If you like these gallery dioramas from Diamond Select Toys, stick around and check out our other unboxings in our Toys and Collectibles playlist. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you, see you next time. time. Find Tip Creative Studio.